So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we're going to explore Firebase Cloud Functions, how we can use them to get data from our Fire Store and then send it back to our social media application for feed a built using Ionic, Firebase, Angular, Upload here, all that stuff. So let's get started. What we want to do first of all is just install, install Firebase tools so just run npm install firebase tools which is going to give you access to this command called firebase in your terminal so what you have to do is you have to initialize a project don't worry if you already have an app or something like that we do also have that project you can see that our app goes inside this app folder and what we want to do is create another folder called functions right i'm going to remove this folder at the moment so that we can go through it one more time so what you want to do is do firebase in it and then you want to give functions as the name right and let me just do it one more time make sure you don't have any slashes or something like that so you see that it gives us uh, some uh, some stuff so first of all you have to select a firebase project in our case this would be code dump social app because we are you know using that as a project just select that and hit enter now it asks us what language do you want to use javascript or typescript now i'm going to go with typescript here because typescript allows you to have um, auto completion and uh, you know type check and all that good stuff so just go ahead and oops looks like the interface is a little broken here but just go ahead and select typescript here and hit enter and do you want to use TSLint to catch probable bugs and enforce style? You could go ahead and use this. I'm just going to say no at the moment. And do you want to install the dependencies with NPM? Yes, we want to have the dependencies so that we could pretty much deploy our functions or, you know, test them locally if we want. And let, let it just run. It will take a couple of seconds. One thing I missed is that you need to actually log in after installing Firebase. So do Firebase login and hit enter and use your google account with on which you want to host your firebase projects all right so once the initialization is done you should be able to see something like that and now if we go to our um okay so i think we did a little bit of a mistake we should have created a functions directory first uh let's say firebase and then we could just pretty much move our git ignore into firebase and our what else do we have firebase rc into firebase and also our fire functions function into firebase functions into firebase okay what i was missing uh, firebase.json into firebase as well all right so now we could just pretty much go into firebase and take a look now we could just open this in vs code all right so now if we take a look what we have in here is this index.ts file which contains this commented code which we're going to get rid of at the moment we're going to bring in our admin from firebase admin which would grant us access to our firestore but first of all we have to initialize the app like that and then we're going to create a function right just our regular function called get feed now this function would be a firebase function right so i'm going to say this is a functions dot https dot on call or on request now what's the difference if i do on request firebase is going to provide me a url which i could then visit and would pretty much see the response i get right so what firebase do is actually they provide you a little server space to execute your own functions where you could interact with other services like firestore and other firebase analytics and stuff so it's actually providing you a complete server environment without actually you worrying about the devops and stuff like scaling and all that so it's pretty cool if you ask me all right so anyway it's gonna accept our request and response just like we do in regular express and what we want to do is we want to actually get our feed data right so i'm going to get our feed data by saying that we want firestore 
collection now our collection was post right I'm gonna limit the results to 10 for the moment and I'm just gonna get the query right so we obviously want a better algorithm we want to detect if the user is logged in and based on users preference how user wants to see his feed we're gonna get put that information but for now I'm just gonna keep it simple because um, you know that's whole another story to make the weight work we're gonna make this an async function right here and uh, we could just pretty much say rest.send and I'm gonna send an array and uh, we could just pretty much say that we want docs docs is what we get dot docs contains all the docs and we map over every doc and we just get the doc dot data oops doc dot data and that's pretty much it for our algorithm so at the moment what we could do is just go ahead and test this out by using firebase serve and hit enter so it's gonna spin off a local server for us where we could pretty much test our um, cloud functions pretty useful because deploying functions to firebase kind of takes around 20 to a 20 seconds to a minute oops and you need to be inside the functions directory and then say firebase serve and this should get you started right so you see you're gonna get this url right here localhost for you to test and just go ahead and paste it right here and you should be able to see that response don't worry it won't be that slow on firebase it is because this is on my system Right, you could see the logs as well that user function triggered starting execution all that good stuff and you could see right here we get our data um, just like we want right our author name our effect which is which was which would eventually compose our um, image our description for that image and likes well there are no likes at the moment right um, so yeah I think that's all for this video and in the next one we're gonna implement this um, uh, functionality which we have created by changing this from on request to on call which would make this a firebase cloud function which we're gonna execute within our app and this rest.send would pretty much be just return return so yeah that's pretty much it what we're gonna do here so now this is a callable function inside our firebase app and in the next video we're gonna take a look at that how to make that work